Welcome back to the C News report at 7 o'clock. In the slipstream of the CL Financial and Hindu Credit Union collapse comes the news that Trinidad and Tobago has ranked the lowest in a United Nations report on corporate governance. And the report suggests the present crisis caused in part by the lack of disclosure from boards of directors to shareholders and business owners makes the future even more fickle. C News Business Report is brought to you by Danny's Enterprises Company Limited. Technology driven. Companies, even those publicly listed, are not meeting international standards in disclosing information to shareholders and business owners. And both present and proposed corporate legislation do not address the problem. This is the finding of a survey of the 31 companies listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. In fact, this country has ranked last in a report compiled by the United Nations Conference on Trade Development. The findings of the local survey done by Sintegra Change Architects Limited, a local consultancy firm, was presented at a Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange press conference on Wednesday. Trinidad and Tobago has the lowest disclosure requirements among 45 countries reviewed by the United Nations. If the benchmark is 51 disclosure pos possible disclosure items, Trinidad and Tobago has five disclosure items. Kuwait and Lebanon have six, and everybody else is significantly higher. And let's say South Africa, for example, has 51. And Dr. Cravity, the chairman of Sintegra, says the link between boards of directors and owners and investors is very weak. The whole governance system is weakened because you have lower accountability and owners or investors have a poorer base on the basis on which to make decisions. Evidence of poor corporate governance and disclosure has come from several witnesses who have testified at the Commission of Inquiry into the collapse of CL Financial and HCU. And the CEO of the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce says a report into corporate governance in this country could not be more timely and appropriate. A United Nations Conference on Trade Development has ranked this country last among 45 nations surveyed on corporate disclosure to shareholders and investors. And certainly from what is coming out of almost what is becoming a soap opera in the CL financial inquiry and the lack of corporate governance that we are seeing in every way and disclosure uh, with, with respect to that organization. While local consultancy firms Integra Change Architects Limited has found the reporting link between boards of directors and owners or investors to be very weak, CEO of the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange Limited Wayne Eitan believes good corporate governance benefits all. We've seen several examples of what happens when there's no good governance, be it at the level of the company, at the level of the country, at a personal level. C News Business Report 